Hi and welcome back to a new video. Here we're going to be talking about LPX Colorizer. Uh, they were nice enough to send me a copy so I could review it that I actually asked for it. So if you go to the site you can download it from here, Colorizer site from Creation North. And here you have a download button here and uh, you have a few pages where they explain how it works and you can buy it here or you've got a free copy that you can try out. Uh, you're limited in themes so it's a one payment license and uh, $59.99 so once you've installed LPS Colorizer go to your application folder and you will open up and you'll get this program come up now a thing it doesn't say in some of the other videos I've seen is that you need to install this plug-in first you just need to put it on the uh, the stereo output just bring it in as a normal plug-in and um, just here you can see Colorizer Helper, the normal plugin. Then you go back to the program and here you will notice you've got a few menus here and up here you have the theme menu. So what's pretty handy is you move this over to the left even more because when you open this up in version two, because this is the version two we're looking at, you can see what they look like. So if we go down and see these, we've got the Neve, some uh, user themes as well here then you have all these themes here so let's choose a theme that we like so i quite like the dark ones myself um so let's try out um this one here specs which is quite dark so we select that i wanted to do is have the mixer follow the colors here but that is not automatic so what you need to do is go to windows mixer then channel strip background and in here use track color okay so you tick that see that's ticked but there's no image for it they haven't yet updated the uh the the base here so it shows photos some of these have photos where you can see what they actually do but here it doesn't have one so what you do is you go colorize and now what will happen here is this will colorize, just shut down logic, it takes some time to do, so I'll speed this up. And now we have it. <laughs> so as you can see, it's quite dramatically changed. Uh, and the mixing this follows, and that is really, really cool. So I really like that. Now, if you want to change some of these elements here, for example, uh, let's say you want to change the lines here in between the tracks here, right? say you don't like the color here but anyway so let's go back to the uh, lpx program close the mixer go to the mixer range and then for tracks uh track header and let's go to separators right now these are the separators these here are the separators now they're black here if you click on that then this will bring up the color palette right so you can change that um, have it blue, let's have it green, something a bit outrageous. So the bottom line and the top line, we'll do green. the bottom line, let's do pink. <laughs> right, okay, just to, it's not going to look very good, but let's just do that. Now we go colorize again. So now you can see I've changed them. So you can change anything you want, like labels, track, track, track header names, for example. Here we have the track, they're in white. Um, so color and shadow color. Uh, so let's change the color to something different. Uh, so I uh, have that. Um, let's have that a purple color. So you have the uh, the ones that are not selected are this color here. Okay, and when you selected the white, you can have that a different color as well. So when you select it, it will go to a different color. So as you can see, this is a, a pretty outrageous one I did. But let me show you one I did that I'm going to be using and I um, customized myself. Um, I called it My Iris Dark. Okay. So, customize. So, there you have my one. This is a bit more sober. The grey and the dark grey and the grey is a bit darker, but it's pretty similar to the original because 
if I'm going to be using this to do tutorials, I don't want it to be too outrageous, otherwise people learning logic will get completely confused. So I'm going to keep it quite similar, but a bit funky because I like to have a change from time to time. It's pretty cool when you can actually do that. Some other DAWs like Ableton and Studio One, you have different skins that you can change. Good that they've done this. For me, the main feature, the most important one is this. Being able to have these the same as my Arrange window. I got used to that with Pro Tools and uh, it kind of like was missing for me in, in Logic when I came over and back to Logic from Pro Tools as on a permanent basis. And now I like this as well. When you click on the actual selection here, it goes black in the mixing desk. That's pretty cool. I like that. And uh, yes, yeah, so I, I really, really like this. I will be using this in all my tutorials. So don't be surprised when you see something a bit funky, something different. But, you know, I mean, this is pretty the same. So it's not it's not like it's too outrageous that you can't find your way around the program. But uh, you can do it a bit outrageous and change everything. But um, I mean, I would just keep it cool like this. For me, that was the most interesting thing anyway, was this. So when you make your own theme make sure that you save it so you duplicate the theme here give it a new name and that will save it as a new theme you can do your own one as a new theme as well but if you're going to make one up from an existing theme make sure to duplicate it and then save it as your own of course you can always go back to the default which is here demo default also you can modify the um, the color palette as well so if you open up here the color palette i'll click on this uh, icon up here you can change these original colors and you can also add a row and then you can select a row like this and then change it by moving this slider up and down that will change the color quite dramatically because these are all different gradients of one color so if i choose this then i can bring that up and down and change it completely um, also you can go across and do the whole thing like brighten it um, uh, based here make that completely different stuff like that make that completely different as well and then you have um of course you have these uh, presets here as well so you can then just change these the way you want okay um fireworks and stuff like that uh, you can save that uh, so yeah so that's pretty useful as well if you want to change the colors dramatically and play around with that and uh, all the uh, the download links to the LPX Colorizer will be in the uh, description so you can go straight to the website and download it if you want to. So yeah, so I really appreciate Creation Not sending me this uh, program to review and I really recommend it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe and I will see you soon. Ciao.